Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the big steam locomotive, and as you guys can see, it is currently red. Um, we've done quite a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to this thing recently, uh, which actually involves being on the inside and building all the inside stuff, and to be honest, we are going to be doing that again today, but we're going to be doing it in the cab. Uh, obviously, we've got all of these signs, or all of these dials and stuff on the floor. I want to go ahead and try and position those on the wall uh, in order to actually be able to use them and see them a little bit better. With that being said, we're also going to add these throttles to the walls as well. And we're also going to add some brakes and things too because it's kind of necessary. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually go ahead and change the colour of it. We're going to make it blue, yes. Uh, the outside is actually going to be changed to white. Yep, there we go. Just so that we can see what we're doing in here and uh, hopefully that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and uh, get rid of that. There we go. So now we need to figure out what we actually need and where we need to put it. So what are these guys and where do they go? So these guys go to the fluid volume right there. Okay. So we're going to delete that, delete that, and delete that. We're then going to get ourselves an instrument panel. Yes, just like one of these. And we're going to go ahead and slap it straight into here. So we're going to put it right in the middle. This one, there you go. And that's going to go there just like that. That seems that seems fine. Actually, no. We're going to do things over to the side because uh, I think that makes more sense. But anyway, um, fluid level is going to be for each of these. There you go. So uh, fluid level right there of the uh, front boiler. Actually, how do I do this? So, one. Actually, front. We'll do front. Fluid level. Yep, okay. Then we'll do uh, middle. A dash fluid level. Yes. And then rear fluid level. Uh, and that'll be the easiest way of doing this. Rear fluid level. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to put the dash in because we've done the dash on the other ones. So there we go. Nice. That's very cool. So this one's number one. This one's number two. And this one is number three. There we go. Excellent. Uh, the value on it is going to be up to about five. So let's go ahead and put that in. Value up to five and value up to five. There we go. Excellent. So what that allows it to do is actually start at a certain point, end at a certain point and not spin around like crazy. Yeah. Okie dokie, so we're going to be using this microcontroller right here. Let's go ahead and slap this in here right behind uh, that. There we go. Excelente. And we should be able to attach all of this together. So we need channel number one. I don't know which one that is. So channel number one to go to... Uh, oh, how did, I <laughs> how did I do this? So one is actually the front one. Okay, so one is the front, two is the middle, rear is the, uh, is the last one, is three. Okay, so fluid level right there, good. Then fluid level for this one, fluid volume, is two, and then three. There we go. All right, that seems fine, I think. Uh, with that being said, let's uh, let's go ahead and send this down into here. There we go, and I think that'll send it, and I think that'll work, maybe. So let's go ahead and spawn this in, and see if it does actually work. Because it might, it might also not. We'll see. So fluid level is currently seven. This one shouldn't be reading anything. <laughs> this one shouldn't be reading anything at all. Because it doesn't... It's not actually attached to anything. That doesn't make much sense. But yeah. I'm going to wait for it to actually get fluid in it. And then um, we'll go from there. I don't get why this one's changing. Alright, so yeah. I, I don't... Oh, wait. No, I do know why that's changing. Okay, so what we've actually done there is we've got all the channels set. But this isn't actually correct, I don't think. So we need to go into the microcontroller and... We need to actually go to, not the logic, this, I think. No, it is channel one, right? Channel two, channel three, channel four. And then start channel is one. Okay, no, this is actually fine. Um, weird. All right, so I'm actually going to make the last one battery. That seems fine. We're going to go ahead and attach it onto there. And that seems, that seems okay. So let me go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and we will attach this down to... Wait, actually, is the is this still connected? It is. We need to connect this down to the batteries, wherever they are. There they are. And that should be all good. With that being said, we can now delete this one. Excellent. So what we're going to do now is check out the other things that we've got. I don't know what these are, so we need to figure that out real quick. Uh, these appear to be uh, the amount of fluid in the condensers. Okay, so let's delete. Actually, let's wait for those ones. 
what is this? So that one's speed. I know that. We'll actually just uh, put that up there. Speed will actually just be its own thing. We'll put it right here. Speed. Let's do it. Here we go. I actually know dial. That's what we need. An actual... No, not a file. A dial. There we go. So this is going to go directly in here, just like this. And that is going to be our speed. That's fine. Let's go and attach this all the way to the front. And attach it to there. There we go. Excellent. Now we can just get rid of this speedo. And that's fine. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. Okie dokie. So because I think these ones are actually super important, uh, they're all going to go in pretty much as they are. I just need to figure out which one's which and label them uh, accordingly. So this one is the close one. This one is the middle one. And that one is the far one. That's annoying because I want them the, the other way around. But whatever, it's fine. So grab this all the way down to there. Go ahead and cut it. Flip it around. Turn it around. Yep. Okay. Move it upwards. There we go. So yeah, the one closest to us is... Oh, oh, there we go. Um, sorry, the one at the top is actually the one closest to us. So let's go ahead and label that straight away. So uh, rear, boiler, uh, pressure. Okay, I, I can go with PSI, actually. Let's just go with PSI, uh, and that'll be easier. So yeah, and then we've got middle boiler PSI, and then the other one. So middle, boiler PSI, there you go, and... Um, Front, I guess. Yeah, front. Boiler PSI. Excellent. Right, okay. So that's all in there. Uh, it looks okay just like that, I think. I think that's fine. We've obviously got our whistle right there. It might change location, uh, but that's okay. These are actually boiler temperatures. I'm not sure how I want that to be. So um, I, I think we should know what our boiler temperature is, but I don't know how I want it to be. So yeah. Actually, let's just do it like normal. We'll, uh, we'll put these ones all next to it. And hopefully that'll okay. look okay with uh, three of those. I think so. So let's go ahead and grab this from here all the way across to here. Cut it. Turn it around. Move it up. There we go. Push it backwards into there. Move it this way. Paste it in. And merge it. There we go. Excellent. The other thing we're going to do is actually put these on the wall. Because uh, they're kind of important, to be honest. So let's flip it upwards. Move it upwards up there like that. Move it into wherever the wall is. Do, do, do. There you go. And move it this way. Excellent. Uh, we should be able to just have it maybe poking out, but I don't want that. So we're going to have it right there like that. That seems fine. Merge this up. There we go. So I want them individuals, uh, or as individuals, uh, so that if one boiler breaks or one boiler's pressure is getting too high, uh, and for some reason it isn't sorting itself out, we can lower it down. That makes sense, I think. Good. All right. Delete the seat. Delete that right there. What is this? This is... This is actually for all of those to increase and decrease at the same time. We need to know that that's what that is. Whistle. There we go. We know that that's a whistle. Good. And honestly, I don't, that is to start the uh, these. I'm going to delete that right now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and move that into there because I think that makes sense. So cut this, move it forwards and paste it right there. That's just to start the, uh, the fireboxes. Start fireboxes. Boxes. I don't know whether we should have one individual one for all of them or uh, one each. I think we're going to go with one for all of them because uh, I believe that makes sense. I think that works. Right, okay. We're now going to go ahead and do this and this. Go ahead and cut it. Move it upwards. Bring it over to here. Uh, all the way to the wall. And I think we're going to go ahead and paste this like this. I know that might seem weird, but I think that's how I want it. Yeah, I think that's how I want it. Anyway, seat. We're going to go ahead and put a seat in sideways. Like this. There you go. And I think I'm going to raise that up, actually. How do I want to do this? Actually, how do I even want this? I kind of want that to be a bit different. I do. I want that in there to be a little bit different. Because at the minute, I think that's a bit weird. Yeah, so we're going to actually delete these on both sides. We're going to move them in. So you might be thinking like, well, surely you should have done this ages ago. Uh, and you'd be correct. But there you go. We're going to move that. Oh, no, it doesn't go there, does it? it? It can't go there because it'll be in the way of the window. And we really want to use that window. So we can't have it that way. But anyway, we're going to do that right there. We're going to do this right here. Uh, we should still be able to see through. Okay, we're going to leave those there. I think that'll be fine. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and attach. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're going to do that like that. We're going to get ourselves a little seat and put it on the side, just like this. And we're going to block ourselves in 
like this, so that we don't fall out and die. <laughs> okay, that makes sense, I think. Very good. All right, fill that in. Very nice. Uh, we can move the train forwards and backwards from here. Brakes is something that we should actually have access to right here as well. So we're going to put that on the underside. And that's going to be our brakes. So let's do that. Here we go. Brake. Brakes, there we go. Excellent. This is... Um, forwards... No, actually, it's not quite forwards. Um, throttle up. Okay, and then throttle down. There we go. Uh, right, okay, excellent. So let's attach this brake system to each of these brakes, and hopefully it'll actually allow us to brake. That'd be brilliant. So we're going to have brakes on literally every single one of these. Here we go, all the way down. Yep, there we go, literally all the way down, uh, including those ones at the front. There we go. So we got, like, some super-duper brakes right there. Um, good, okay. Give it electricity, and then it should work. Everything that we've added should work. Hopefully. Alright, attach all of these together. Let's go ahead and spawn it in, and see if we can drive it now. We also need to add lights in there and stuff like that, but for now that's okay. There we go. Sit in the seat. Go ahead and push the button down there. To turn on the fireboxes, sit in the seat again. And then we should be good to go. Yeah. So these are all about... Bo Wait. Did I not label them? Those are all boiler temperatures. Let me label those real quick. Alright, so I've actually gone ahead and actually labeled all of those. That seems all good. So, uh, that's, that's fine. What we're going to do now is actually return this back to being grey again. Uh, obviously that might be a bit of an issue. This looks silly, being that color. And honestly, this looks silly, and this looks silly, and this looks silly. So we're going to paint all of that like so. And I'm actually going to leave this... Actually, I'm going to do that and that. There we go. That might look a little bit weird, but I kind of want it that way. I do. I think I want it to be like that. Unless I delete these. Yeah, we'll do it like that. That seems fine. Okay, excellent. I'm happy with that. Uh, the other thing that I would love to do is actually change this color slightly and actually add some lines to the rear of this. I know that's not quite enough. So there we go, just like that. I'm gonna add some lines uh, along here and hopefully that'll look pretty cool. I think it will. So uh, on every side of this, we're gonna do one of these all the way around. Yeah, it's gonna be in the same place all the way around uh, and that should be good. There we go, all the way down. Yarp, all the way down. Yep, and probably one right here as well. Uh, there we go. Let's see what that looks like spawned in. Yeah, I like those. They're pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing, uh, attach the tender to it, and see how it goes from there. One sec, actually. Before we do that, I actually want to add a light into here so that we can actually see what we're doing. I also want you guys to be able to see what's happening too. So that's why we're going to do it. But anyway, delete the roof. Go ahead and get ourselves a cable. Yep, okay, so a cable anchor that's going to go in there like so. Excellent. That might seem weird to you guys, but that's what's happening. We're then going to get ourselves a pivot real quick. Yep, just like this one. We're then going to get ourselves another cable anchor and put it right here. Uh, kind of like that, there we go. And get ourselves a light that is going to go on the bottom of that. There we go. Yes, uh, we're also going to make this this color. But then the light itself is going to be a slightly different color because it needs to be. So it's going to be cream. There we go. So attach all of this together. Uh, that's going to be attached to there. And that seems fine. Attach the electricity together and to there also. And then attach it via a rope. There we go. And we need a button to turn it on. Yeah. So the button is going to go in the roof, I guess. Hopefully I'm able to do that. Am I allowed to do that? I think so. Let's put that there. Paint this side this color. Do, do, do. There we go. And paint the other side this color. And then attach it together, I think. So attach this to there. Is that going to work? I don't know if this is the way it works. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, I feel like that should be connected to that. I'm not sure. But uh, let's go ahead and spawn it in and see if this works. Oh, my goodness. What have I done? Wait, no. What have I done? Ah. No, this isn't good. This is not what I wanted. I need that to be back blue. Alright, yes. And then I need to change the roof in here to be this color again. There we go. Okay, I got it, eventually. Um, paint this bit a little bit too. Doo -doo. There we go, excellent. And we're also going to paint this bit too. And that bit as well. There we go, right. So that's everything that we needed to paint, I think. Um, I'm happy with that. I think that's fine. 
Now we just need to see if it works. And there it is. We got a dangly light, guys. We got a dangly light. I kind of feel like it should be taller than that, but whatever. For now, that's okay. In fact, actually, it's not. I kind of want to move it upwards. Let's let's move it upwards. So we're going to grab this and this and this. Okay, right. That seems weird so far. But we're going to cut it. We're going to move it upwards. We're going to paste it there. Okay, we're going to delete these guys. And we're going to fill that in right there like that. We're going to put one of these on the top here like this. And we're going to merge these guys to there. That seems okay. All right, good. We're then going to paint the things. Do, do, do. It's actually going to be painted this color more than anything. So there we go. That's all good. And we're honestly just going to go ahead and paint all of these guys too. Because I feel like it'll look better that way. So there you go. We're going to have like a gray roof. I think that's awesome, actually. All right, cool. So I'm going to save this as uh, Loco Dwe Dwe Dwe. All right, excellent. We're going to go ahead and spawn it in and see what it looks like. And uh, go from there. Okay, this is weird. Every time it joins together now, this bit has some serious problems. I'm not sure why, but uh, yeah, they're really getting damaged when they join together now. So that's a little bit annoying. But anyway, I have a welder on board to fix such issues. So there we go. We'll fix those. Then run backwards and attach it to here. And then let's go. All right, here we go. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the firebox right there. That seems good. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights so, every so everybody can see. There we go. And... That seems fine. I do want to, like, make this look a little bit nicer. It's just a dangling light at the moment. It works, though. It does work. So that's good. But anyway, uh, boiler temperatures are all going up. That one isn't. Oh, I hate when this happens. Why isn't that one going up? <laughs> the rear boiler is is broken. Why? Okay, so it turns out that one battery that uh, was disconnected isn't actually... Oh, uh, well, that I deleted uh, actually was the only thing connecting the... Uh, the air supply to this. So that is that is what the problem was. But anyway, let's go and push this forwards. There you go. It is connected. And it has destroyed itself again. It keeps happening. I don't know why it's happening. But there you go. We need to fix that again. So let's go through here and fix this. I, I don't know what those issues are, are, are from. But there you go. Let's go ahead and put this back. And let's see if it can move. Oh, we also need to paint that bit up there. But we can do that. Anyway, whistle. <laughs> why have I turned the whistle on straight away? No idea. But there we go, we can sit in the padded seat right here, and that's A-OK, -okay. yeah. I don't know what else to actually add to this bit. Um, we could add, like, maybe, like, checker plate on the floor or something, uh, and I think that would be looking... Oh, that would look pretty awesome, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, for right now... Oh, I need to label the speed dial, too. I do, but never mind. Okay, so I think this is much better than it was. Obviously, we get the brakes now as well. We do need to test those, so let's get it moving. Here we go, we are... We are moving. Excellent. Let's go ahead and push that up to full. That's that's fine. Um, our boiler pressure in the rear is going to the moon. I don't know how it almost got to, to 10, but it did. What in the world? How did that happen? These ones are so slow to get up to pressure, too. It's a bit weird. But yeah, once these are actually at the temperature they need to be, uh, these should start gaining, which they are. And then uh, they'll all get up to like 8. So that's good. But yeah. It is moving. That's excellent. We now get a whistle. Excellent. And we're also going to go ahead and try and use the brakes. Which do definitely work. There you go. That's fantastic. Good. So, anyway. Um, for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. For those of you that are still here, what should we actually add on the rear? I know LNER is something that we could add, or GWR, or something like that. Uh, but we need some letters that we can actually add to the back to, uh, to do the detail. But anyway, um, yeah, see you next time.